Father John Hardin, S.J., used to teach at the Missionaries of Charity on Trumbull Avenue in Detroit every Thursday when he was in town. We had an especially lively discussion in our class one particular day that caused us to run a little later than usual. Father had more appointments that day. We could not be late for them. I could see the snow falling outside the window, and I grew concerned that the drive back to the office would be slow and slippery. There was another lady with us. She was our driver that day. I asked her to go and warm up the car so that when Father left the Missionaries of Charity, he would be able to get into a warm car. Father Hardin was in his 80s at that time and had been fighting an illness and it was important that he remain warm and not be chilled. As we were leaving the missionary's house, the snow started to fall really fast, with big, white, fluffy flakes and gusts of strong wind causing the snowflakes to dance and swirl around. Father got all bundled up, put his scarf around his neck, put on his hat and gloves, buttoned up his overcoat, and out the door we went to fight the bitter cold. As we opened the door in the fence surrounding the property, Father spotted a street person hiding from the wind in the alley. Father Hardin immediately said, Go and wait for me at the car. Stand near the car door. I replied, Yes, Father. Father Hardin went over to the man, who then stepped out of the shelter of the alley. They spoke, and then the man knelt down in the snow. It seemed that the snow was falling so much faster that Father Hardin and the man became obscured and visible only as dark patches in the alley. The snow slowed down as quickly as it had started. The man got up after Father gave him a blessing, and then Father Hardin came to the car. Father, are you okay? I asked. Yes, he replied. That man needed to go to confession. He had not been in 20 years. That is just what God wants, that we all confess our sins and go forward in life filled with grace and happiness. Susan Schoenstein.